Now we'll be entering the salt mines created thousands of years ago. What do you think? What, how are you feeling about the salt mines, Jerry? It's making me hungry. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. So that's our tour guide. It's so cool. Entering the salt mines. Take your word for it. Just wipe it and lick it. Ugh. It's really salty. And the rest of it. It was easier, easier and safer for the mind and other minds to start to burn in the world and burn this. Still working here? Amen. Where's Amen? Amen. Amen. Look at his eye. Like you. Left eye. Left eye. Right here, right? And then 
I guess these drunken sailors went on it and they sunk the boat. Am I right? I guess so. Well, you're the tour guide. I didn't hear about this. You didn't hear about this? No. Where were you? I was. I was lost. Oh, uh, uh, we're taking a break right now. Oh, we are. Yeah. So, Jerry, um, we are in the salt mines. Uh, tell me what you think about it so far. I think I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat a hamburger. All right, there you have it, folks. Why don't we get a hamburger? Yeah, why don't we get one? Why don't we get one? Oh, God. Okay. That's a good point. Can I borrow your helmet? What? Okay. All right, guys. Let's see. Oh. Someone's smushed in this corner. Hell. Jesus. We're gonna jump. Please don't jump. Nice people. I don't know about this. All right, guys. I don't know what this is. You know what? Okay. All right. We say a prayer. I'm still wondering why we don't have helmets. The roller coaster. You guys ready? Hold on. Okay, everybody. I got a fart so bad. I'm just kidding. Keep that tight. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. This is smooth. This is so bad. And then. It's like. Can you imagine getting brought down here on ropes and wood? Yeah, that's insane. I feel like we're on the Tower of Terror. Um, that's why he's wearing that helmet. This is pretty fast and shaky, guys. Well, that's... It's all right. Woo! Woo! Oh, uh, this is pretty fast. I wonder how to do on the stop, man. It's fast! Yeah, I don't know. We were 400 feet down. How yeah. many years is Pop? 400 plus. Oh, yeah. We're going there. That was pretty. Yeah. That was pretty bad. Oh, this is snug. Okay, you guys go. Okay. You guys hope we got stuck down there. Yeah. Good way up. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just waiting here, uh, red, getting ready to go to Auschwitz, eating this uh, bread that's really salty. What do you think about the, the salt mines? It was pretty cool. Yeah. I like how you licked the wall, the salty wall. I told I told Bianca, and she was like, "Ew, you're so disgusting." <laughs> she was. All right, now um, Torina always wanted a vlog, so there you go. Here. I'm a no. vlogger. I'm a vlogger. It's like been my long, my long week, right? My long life dream to vlog, but I'm always scared. But it's kind of cool. Well, yeah, me and Andrew, so we're best friends, and we've been best friends for like five years. Oh, look at we got a butterfly. Grab it by its wing. I heard if you like touch the wing, it like it does. Yeah. <gasps> Okay, well, don't touch it though. It's a moth though. Oh. Am I able to see myself? Vlog? <gasps> oh, look at we have a guest. The Gorge Princess B. Starved guest. Um, did you have fun? No, where the heck is it? Right there. The, uh, oh, wait. Go, Yaka, wo. Get you on half? Alright, we can stop this. I will vlog later. Bye.
1st of September of 1939, Germans invade Poland. We try to defend our country, but there is an overwhelming advantage power of the Germans with the tanks, with all the planes against our cavalry, mostly. So we were hoping actually that at the moment of the start of the war, being in a very strong alliance with the One of the interesting photographs taken by the SS inside the camp. Photos were rarity, not too many of them. One of them showing to you the prisoners, members of the camp's orchestra. You can see the same building, it looked different in 1941 when the picture was taken. The building of the camp's kitchen behind. It was the place where the orchestra was playing music. What for? quite practical reason of creation of the orchestra. When the groups of the prisoners from the camp creating such a called commandos, commandos group of them working somewhere with, uh, with, with, with some goals outside the camp, when they were crossing the gate in the morning to start the working day, and they, when they were coming in the evening back to the camp, orchestra was playing march music, German marches, so prisoners crossing the gates were obliged to walk following the pace of the music, the rhythm of the, of the music. So for the assessment, standing by the gate with some notes, it was easier to count the rows of the prisoners crossing the gate in some order. And they were checking whether the number of prisoners leaving the camp in the morning was the same with the number of the prisoners returning to the camp in the evening, including dead corpses car being carried on the shoulders of, of, of the prisoners. Because working outside very hard work was one of the ways of extermination. second half of 1941 where they have open minds for creation of the places huge because they knew they have a system they have gas chambers they have cyclone B they can build a big big places to keep the prisoners to work for them without any resistance without any problem system was working well it was just a matter of time they have at their disposal. Fortunately, time was shrinking. Then next block when we make some space for next block block number three.
inside the uh, block number 11. He was not executing no. at the courtyard, but in cell number 18 in the basement. They came on the So when did the Jews were going to get executed, that's where they shot them, like on the back. Look at Karina looking for me. <laughs> When still uh, these wooden banks, beds were not introduced into the barracks and they were sleeping on the floor, three rows of straw mattresses, so narrow a space that when you left the place to go to WC, you could not find any more your place when coming back. And you had to sleep a couple of hours to try to collect some strength because 4.30 in the morning, there was a gong signal inside the camp, wake up call, 4.30. And you have one hour and a half to clean the place, to remove all the mattresses, to have something to eat. It was not even something to eat in the morning because in the morning, everything they got, they would get, it was half of the liter of a liquid, substitute of coffee or tea made on herbs. That was all. Then. Around the midday, they were bringing to them some soup, three quarters of the liter of the soup, vegetable soup, where most of the vegetable were potatoes, rutabaga, turnip, sometimes even cut leaves of nettle or other seeds found on the fields. They had to make some soup, but it didn't. Well, in a kitchen, if you work in a kitchen, it was, it was a good place, but the food for the prisoners so when the new arrivals saw the soup for the first time, they didn't want to eat, it was disgust, disgusting, it was smelling very bad. But then after a few days when you don't have anything else, because in the evening, the third part of your daily menu is just 250 grams of bread. And it's not like a bread that we imagine bread. It was a mixture of something, a bit of flour, some wooden scraps of uh, some other things. And then you got some you would get something that Germans were calling Zulage. Zulage, extra food could be a piece of marmalade, uh, a spoon of marmalade, piece of cheese, five grams of, uh, of sausage, prisoner sausage, which was consisting mostly of water, in contradiction to the assessment. Assessment sausage, that was something. That was like a value. You could trade, you know, some gold, some platinum, whatever valuable things for, for the assessment sausage, because you could not eat gold here. If you were working in the Sonderkommando, I've mentioned about Sonderkommando, these prisoners working inside the gas chambers, there was always a chance to smuggle something, to organize something. They were not saying steal something, they were organizing something. If you work in one of the best places in the camp to work, Canada, Canada storage places, all the belongings of the new arrivals were being confiscated on arrival, were being a property, becoming a property of the German state. And these prisoners working by collection, by sorting, by cleaning, by searching the personal belongings, they always have a lot of chances to organize something, not mentioning about some food that they could find in a suitcase, they could eat it. The best job inside the camp. for the gas chambers. Wow. Unbelievable. Extermination of the full scale of the extermination.
the shower, we want to avoid any epidemics spreading inside the camps. So shower, but don't, don't take too long. We have already tea and soup prepared for you. You're after long journey. And just imagine journey from Greece, from Italy could last more than 10 days. And deliberately people were deprived of any renewal of food and water just to make the living energies as low as possible. So they don't protect, they think only about water. They could be drinking water from the ditch like this because they were so thirsty. And it results in diarrhea, other diseases. Yes? So it was deliberate method to fool people, to deceive them, to make this deception, to make the whole process fast and efficient. Only a couple of hundred meters, when you can see the trees, these were gas chamber and crematorium number two and three. A couple of minutes of walking distance from the, from the selection place. Everybody. Yeah, we're just coming back from Auschwitz and we're here for our final dinner, our goodbye dinner, before we get back home to Chicago. So uh, it's been fun, Poland. Love you so much. It's amazing. <laughs>